Welcome to another weekly vlog, don't you dare. <laughs> this is what we've been doing today. This is this is Ren for what you've done. Do you want to build a snowman? No. <laughs> yes, he does. Don't you dare put that in my hood. Don't put it in my hood. You put that in my hood. I see you put that in my hood. <laughs> I've got a visitor. Hello. Hello, little Robin. Where'd he go? There's stuff Sometimes. on your bird table over there. Cheese is on your bird table. That dog must shut up. You go and get the cheese. Oh, I'm zoomed in, that's why it's... Oh no! There, it's gone to the bird feeder. It's on the bird feeder. Go on, there's some cheese in there for you. Go on. And there's fresh water in that there as well, but everything was frozen, so I defrosted it. Oh! Oh! You don't like cheese or bread. Need to get some seed with the shopping tomorrow. Right, a trick to try and get... No, Isaac is not weighing on, even though that might look like what he's doing. He's putting some Cocoa Pops on, on the head to see if we can get a birdie landing on it. Come on, birdies. You know you want the Cocoa Pops. I'd rather have a bowl of Cocoa Pops. I'm going to move out of the way, let Darren get a picture. Hello, look at the colour of my face. It is Wednesday. We've just finished homeschooling for the day. It is three o'clock. Um, I don't think I filmed anything this week. And I'm going to show you my banana bread. Un banana bread. I've made banana bread for the first time. It's, I don't know if it's a bit overcooked and some little muffiny things. So I'm going to try it tonight. It's got some Nutella in. Um, two new duvet covers. This is very exciting stuff, folks. It arrived for Isaac's bed. Probably can't see that very well. It's like a gamer one. What about your poor snowman playing badminton by itself? And a nice like stars one, which I thought was quite cute. So the snow... Oh, Jesus Christ. Look at the state of it. So obviously the snow has melted. Apart from, look at the state of that. Yeah, oh, there's a little robin up in the bush. There he is. Hello. He's waiting for something. Has he had any cheese? Is he out? Yeah, he's above the oil tank. Is he? Yeah, he's just flown away. He's, he's oh, just yeah. behind the oil tank. Darren's making tea. We're having chicken. Chicken. Would you like tasty crispy chips or would you like mash and bits? Mash. Want some mash? Well, whatever's easiest, I really don't care. Hello, Dobby. Dobby says I can smell chicken oil. Really Hello, that. Molly. <sighs> this was nothing else really to tell you. I'm going to have a coffee. Isaac's doing some mathletics. Hello. Can't go over the colour of my face. Why is it so red? Um, Isaac started a new AR book. Christmas Thesaurus by Tom Fletcher, otherwise known as the lead singer of McFly. And sanitizer, necessary evil. Right, so I might edit last week's vlog night. Ugh. But there's nothing else really to tell you. We're in the house and we're bored. Um, Hello. Yeah. Isaac's got an Among Us hoodie on that he got from Christmas. What I didn't actually realise and he said is the imposters is written like friends. But I didn't realise. Um, yeah. Right. I'll leave you for today. That's all I can tell you. <clears throat> so this is my banana bread. I've cut the end bit off and I've tried it. And it's very tasty. If I don't say so myself. So top's nice and crispy. Hmm. It's nice. Success. A man who has been in hospital for 11 weeks after contracting COVID-19 has appealed to the public to wise up and mask up. BBC Newsline Sarah Gervin has been speaking to Colin Price, who's from Ballymena. He spent more than 50 days in intensive care. Day 50. 
as far as I can figure out, in the uh, hospital, 45 of which I've been in intensive care. And it's been a bit of a battle when the words of several of the nurses is the toughest period they've seen yet. Well, my arms and legs are very, very weak. Uh, basically, I have the muscle control and strength of a six month old baby at the moment. Weeks on, and these are Colin Price's first steps on the road to recovery. He's out of intensive care, but has had to learn how to walk again. It's now day 78 in hospital after what he thought was a kidney infection turned out to be COVID. You know, they say it's a nasty experience, absolutely horrible. Um, it, it hit my lungs and um, caused a massive amount of other problems. Anything basically from the, between the knees and the ribs doesn't work, so it didn't work. And physios, etc. Um, the occupational physios and physio department um, have pushed and pushed and got me to the point where uh, I'm now taking a few steps. The 56-year-old spent 53 days in intensive care. Almost four weeks of that was spent sedated. He was so ill, his family was told to say goodbye. We contacted the daughter that and said, listen, I was not doing very well at the moment. Um, can we uh, get the family together on, on Zoom and send them basically a goodbye message um, that would really improve me. Um, so if I had to send a message to anybody, um, I would say, you know, just look at the love for the side of the mum and your dad, mum and dad, um, your partner, um, your kids, and just think, do you really want them? gather around, you know, your laptop, your phone, and that's your last chance to say goodbye to them. If everybody stayed in for two, three weeks, this, you know, pe people would not end up where I am. And, you know, probably right now, somebody is saying goodbye to somebody, goodbye to a loved one, over that very right now. Stay at home, folks. Wise up, mask up. Colin knows he has a long road to recovery ahead of him, but his first steps have him looking to the future. Compared to two months ago, I, I have a future to look forward to. Um, and that's, thank you NHS, thank you Antrim Hospital, thank you City Hospital. It's because of you, I have a future to look forward to. Colin Price there, who's been in hospital for 11 weeks after contracting COVID-19. Hello. It is Thursday. Hello Dobby Thursday and I've just got mail. And I need to show you because it's very nice. I have post what I got today in the post. So there's this first of all. Excuse me, coughing we got some Yes, in the background of my nice video. Pardon my hair as well. I know it's an absolute disaster. Look at this. Now the thing is I looked at this last year and I really wanted one and I I had it in the basket and everything to buy it and I think when I got to the end it was either the the lead time on it or the postage I thought nah I can't I can't justify spending that amount of money on myself have you ever seen a cuter oil burner in all your life than that look at the little stars yeah it's a cauldron and I have a good idea Black raspberry and vanilla. I haven't actually opened this yet. I don't need to to smell them because they are gorgeous. Let's try and look. It's not sweeties. Oh my god! What? I didn't even open those. Oh, oh, that's amazing. I'd have to think how much money he spent on these. I will have to keep one. Whoa. I won't be able to burn them all because that is just awesome. I might record it melting and time lapse it. <sighs> right, I'm gonna have to go because the dogs are gonna knock it off the side. It's a skull. <laughs> Isaac wants to see what it smells like. Oh, it feels right. Keep licking it. 
That smells really nice. Don't lick your cauldron. And it feels really nice. You need your hair fixing today because that is shocking. Dobby because needs your face we have licking the cauldron. She's licking the cauldron. Licking the cauldron. It's just unbelievable. Dobby needs Dobby. her brain fixing. Right, right, so. Get a green light candle and put in there. So I will have said thank you by the time this goes up, but thank you so much. It's awesome. I love it. I will burn that later. I will burn that after tea. Um, I will be keeping one of those little skulls. So I can't bring this off to burn them, but it's awesome. I love it. Thank you so much. So today is Thursday. It's National Lego Day. Lego Day. So today we built Hagrid's house. Isaac, get oh, it off. I love it on your head. You can open the little. Oh come on. You can open all the little flaps of the roofs on both little places. Yeah, that's Isaac being annoying. She's obviously got Hermione. Harry's on, but big. The executioner's there. Um, Ron, little pumpkin patch, and if we turn this around, <coughs> right, I put on the my foam torch to hopefully you can see in there. The little doors obviously open. You've got the little table and chair, the little treasure chest which opens, and in here we have Hagrid's seat with a little bag beside. Tables with chairs with teapots. Do you press the button for me, Isaac? Up there, please. What button? The only button that does anything. Uh, this button. Boom. And that lights up the fireplace. You can see where they're cooking an egg. Egg. In the background is a really cute little like pot with like um, an umbrella and a spade. Have you shown the viewers what's in the chest? We've got all like implements up there. Like there's a whip. There's a frying pan. There's a butcher's knife there is a little pot um, and there was a little spider on that one. Have you shown the viewers what's in the chest? The chest has just got spare wands and a little, I don't know what it is. I know. What is it? A little fit. Right so that is what we did today. <laughs> That's what we started doing and Isaac got bored. Hey I didn't get bored. As is always the case. So yeah, I think that's pretty cute. That's our National Lego Day job done. And we're going to have turkey burgers for tea. Turkey burger. Hello, it is thir no, it's Friday. We are on the way down to Isaac's school to get the next learning at home packs. Um, parents aren't allowed in obviously, so the kids have to go in and collect their work. Isaac is in the back seat, he's hiding, which is most unlike him. Darren's birthday is tomorrow. It's completely impossible to get Darren something without him waiting at the front door for when the post comes. And generally when I order something, what's what I ordered written on the outside of the bloody thing. I got him a CD by one of his favourite bands, DAD, and like a hoodie. Which, honestly, because they're, um, are they Swedish? Yeah. The... The postage is a hoodie and a CD cost me nearly a hundred pounds, which is ridiculous. Um, but if I want to get like a little stupid thing, like from Isaac, something silly, but <coughs> can't get into any shops because. And now, when we're coming out to go get these things, I thought, right, well, when I get back, he'll be in bed till like 12, like he's been all week. Nope. I went upstairs to leave Dobby with him because you can't leave Dobby unattended and um, he was getting up so when I get back if I go into the shop to get anything he won't see it. Honestly, there's no sneaking about in our house, you can't get away with anything. So we, uh, we've got most of our homeschooling done this morning already and it is 10 to 11. He has to draw a picture of a robin Finish his factors. Oh, we need to check them. We need to finish that AR book and do a test, and they'll probably set some athletics, and that's it, which isn't that much. So, yeah, we finished early today, I think. <coughs> I'll switch.
switch off now um, and I'll speak to you later. Outside of school folks, because they can't drive up the road and drop the kids off like any of the other parents, honest to God. No, I'm going to park on the cross hatchings or I'm going to stop right in front of the school. Just so my kid doesn't have to walk down the road for like 20 seconds. <coughs> wonder will any more do it. Just trying to get Isaac coming out. These memories when he's old. There's Ben, one of his classmates. These memories of uh, having to do all of this during lockdown. I can look back on them when he's an adult, when he's a teenager. There's me coming out of school. God, how long is it going to take Isaac in there? Jesus Christ. I'm glad to see. Right, the bin man's coming. I have to shut up a minute. I'm glad to see quite a number of face masks. Still not everyone, but a nice high proportion. Come on, Isaac. Jesus. Notes, all the girls are coming out nice and fast. And they say that men always wait on women, eh? Maybe that comes in later life. The minute I would stop this record, Thea just went in literally two minutes ago and she's out already. Nope, still no Isaac. You are effing joking. I'm trying to fill in the school. Go on, you fuckers. You've just drive down the bloody hill. You have to drive back up it again. Honestly, they've stopped right in front of the school that I'm trying to fill in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, they've got a job to do. I'm aware of that. But what about that timing, guys? Amazing. Go on, Bryson Recycling. Get some recycling done there. There, you're going to get a look at some recycling. Hopefully, Isaac will come out on the other side of the recycling van, so I'll still film him. And this is why folks are meant to separate your recycling so that they can just do what they're doing right now. Straight in. No need to sort. Here, they've had a bit, they've had a, they're homeschooling clearly. Did you hear the clinks of them, of them glass bottles? That sounded like a, a bit of wineage to cope with homeschooling to me. Right, go on. Up the road a bit yet. Go on. That's it. Still no Isaac. What's he doing? Now nothing's going to be able to get down the road because <coughs> the recycle bin's blocking it. And still no Isaac. That's Niall. Oh, that's a nice car. I like that. That grey one with a little red trim there that's just pulled up outside the school. Go on. Drive on. Here we go, here we go, finally, there he is. And he's having a chat to Niall about Little Mix. Is that a good boy, Isaac? Check the road. That's it. Well done. Hello, it is Friday. I am baking another banana bread. The seventh chocolate in to see if it turns out as nice as the first one did. It's not often I bake something that tastes nice, so I've tried it again. Um, nothing else going on. Isaac's done his homeschooling for the day. It's Chinese day. It's always exciting. Um, and tomorrow's Darwin's birthday. So um, it's not easy trying to sort stuff out in this lockdown when you can't get a snaffle around the shops. Um, but yeah. And we can't get him cake or make him cake because he's gluten intolerant and there's only specific places that do gluten free cakes. Um, me making a gluten free cake, uh, I don't think it would be edible, put it that way. Right, um, my oven's hit up. I put my fan oven on and didn't turn up the temperature. And stood here waiting, thinking, what's going on? I hadn't turned the temperature. Well, it's just popped off now, so I can put in my banana bread and um, I shall speak to you guys later. Dobby is obsessed with the magpie on the film Penguin Bloom. She keeps barking at it. She's watching the tell. She's not now to contradict me. Dobby, watch the TV. Because the penguin's not on the screen anymore. 
Just tell him to watch the TV and but he'll do it. When he was, Dobby ran at this here we go, ran at the screen barking. Yes she did. Where's that naughty magpie, Dobby? Where's that pie? Where's that birdie? Did you see that birdie? Did you see that birdie? Where's the birdie? Hello. I apologise for the terrible light. It's Saturday evening. Can you see me? Can you hear Darren coughing up a lung in the kitchen? It's Saturday. It's Darren's birthday today. Um, I don't think you could see the birthday cards if I swivelled it round. I'll show them to you tomorrow when it's light. We are watching... Can you hear that? He's talking to himself in the kitchen. Um, we're watching The Little Things with Denzel Washington and Rami Malek. Um, we've just, it's only been on about 20 minutes or so. Um, I've been looking forward to seeing it for quite some time. I'm hoping it picks up a bit because it's not you know, intriguing me just yet. I'm really enjoying a new programme on Netflix called Blown Away. It's about glass blowing. It's like, it's almost like Ink Master, where instead of tattooists and one goes home every week, this is like glass artists. It's something I've always wanted to go at. It's how they do it, it's like ridiculous. You're in there swearing at yourself. Swearing at them? Um, you probably, it's too dark to see. It's, Turn the light on a wee minute for me, just for a second. Why? Just for some video. Oh, hang on. It's... Oh. The dogs are having a schmack Oh, the dancing girls. Oh. What's that place in Paris? The Moulin Rouge. The Moulin Rouge. There you go, some schmack -o. It's the Molly Rouge. Right, do I need to break this up for you again? Yes, she doesn't like a whole schmack She can't quite manage. I'm going to about to eat popcorn and all I'm going to taste now is chicken schmack -o. You've swallowed yours whole, you disgusting dog. I'm what still wearing my Christmas slippers. Molly, sod off. That's really naughty, Molly. Now she's looking badly done to because this one's having more schmackos. But look, you dropped there. Darren can't show you what he got for his birthday because most of it was money. Because people can't get to the shops. And I think he's secretly... No, she wants. She doesn't want this. She wants my popcorn. He's secretly very pleased because he'll be able to get himself something he wants. You have enough money to get yourself a tattoo. Yeah, there's not a tattoo so, but is Yeah, it? I know there's not, but there's... Oh, don't oh don't no, 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 not yet, wait. Hang on, I'm just zooming in. That one's from Kelly and Dave with a man on the front. It's got a joke about farts, which is for a... Um... <laughs> oh! That's my popcorn! <laughs> what are you war 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 about? War war war! I'm trying to video these cards. <laughs> have you heard the cheek we have to listen to? That one is from Isaac. It says Tales from the Bark Side, I believe. Oh, listen to that dog. It's my popcorn. My popcorn. That one is from me. It's my popcorn. With the beer cats. That a gentleman's guide to beer is from my parents, and that one is obviously from Darren's auntie. It's my popcorn. Auntie Lynn. <clears throat> so there he is. So what are you gonna get? Wait a minute. Mike, oh, shut me. up, please. Oh, look at Mickey Mouse. It's a son of. So, I've just filled them in something because it's your birthday, so. Oh. Any idea what you're going to get? Mo Dobby, enough of it! Any maybe. idea what you're going to get with it? Yeah, maybe that uh, Isaac skeleton and then some Orobash writing around it. Isaac skeleton? Oh, right, oh. I see what you mean. Whoa! So, you are going to keep it for a tattoo then? Yeah. Alright. If I don't, I'll just blow it. Well, yes. you might be able to get something nice with it. I wouldn't get something as big as that skeleton to start with, though, was it? Why not? Oh, I don't know. Well, you, you don't like needles. Can you sit down and then she'll shut up? Well, because I'll have to get back up without turn light off. Dobby! Dobby! She's a naughty Dobby. That's enough noise. No more barking. Hang on. I'm not going to do it. She's thinking she's going to get something. That's why she's doing it. Flip's sake. Always works. Oh, it does it work? Right, come on then, put the light out. She wants no. popcorn. I want popcorn. Put the light out. <laughs> it is Sunday. I'm just finishing off the vlog for the week. Isaac and Darren are going out with the doggies. 
and he's making me wear all of this. Yes, because Isaac, it is freeze. Like I'm sat here with a. I'm fine with the damn seashell. Making me wear all this. With a blanket. Look at this color on my face. I'm sat here with a blanket over me, and I am still freezing. Isaac, Isaac's wearing a t-shirt and a leather coat, which we all know is not warm. And the temperature, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but hang on, actually, I'll tell you what it is. Where's it's it freezing from? outside. One degree, Isaac. It is one degree Celsius. And actually, the time, or the, the temperature that we get comes from Balamina, as you can see. There's my screen. Um, that's what time it is. I really for putting a foot in a jumper, we put a head in, right, little head goes in, and she knows how to get dressed, and then we go like this, and ready, oh, she's already, it's already up, look at it waving, you pop your leg in there, that's it, you never do it on camera, do it, no, she hasn't found the hole, hang on a minute, Molly, no, now you've just got tied in a knot, <laughs> Molly, stop, hello, right, so she's already got her jumper on, she's ready to go, Molly is struggling to get dressed in her... Oh, it's not matching jumpers. They always have matching jumpers on. But they don't have matching jumpers. Well, they're nearly matching. They're both pink. But they've each got... But one... she has to get a bar on. A bar. To put a bar. Yes, a bar on. Yeah. Molly's got a big wolf coat on the moon, though. She doesn't need to full turtle. Dobby, however, is a skinny little rat. She needs full turtle. Dobby, come here, please. Let me put your bar on. Isaac's been drawing today, hence the mess on the table. Got full turtle. Turtle for Merle. <laughs> right, can you put your head in there, please, Bobby? I dare you. Thank you. You want to show your stick man to the vlog? Yes. Right, go on then. You're showing it. Oh, Isaac's just read a book called Stick Dog, and that is what it looks like in the book. Stick Dog. Stick. Dog and super dog. So Isaac today did. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. He did a cartoon today, which was all about stick dog eating a sausage, and then becoming super dog. Like Dobby did today. Right. Hey, turtle. They're all ready. Have they got full turtle on? Yes, you do. I put that back in the no. the thing. Alright, right, have a nice walk in that cold weather. Okay. Yeah. We're going. We're going. We're going to see Pussycats. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, let's go find them. Shit. I got a few things for the door, people, but yeah. No. See you later. Goodbye. Bye.